Creating authentication for your app using Laravel is really easy and I'm actually going to show you how to do this within three simple steps. One, we'll need to download the Laravel framework. The second one is we will need to add a new database and the third one is we will need to run the database migrations. So let's go ahead and get started and open up a new terminal window and just go to any folder and what we'll need to do is create a new Laravel application. So you will need to have the Laravel installer installed on your computer and I do so I'm going to say Laravel new and I'm just going to call this application app. Okay so after that's done I can go ahead and see that I have a new folder called app and I can go into that folder and I can run php artisan serve and then it says that I have a local development server on localhost 8000 so I'm just going to go ahead and test that real quick. And sure enough, if I go to localhost 8000, we have a new Laravel 5 installation on our computer. So the next step is we need to create a new database. So I am currently using SQL Pro and I'm just going to connect to my local host and I'm going to create a new database and I'm just going to stick with the name of app and just call this app as well. And then I can go ahead and add the new database. So now we need to add the database credentials to our Laravel install. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that new app that I just created. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Sublime Text. And the file that we're looking for is a .env file. So I can go ahead and click on the .env file and you'll see here that we have our DB host, which is localhost, our database name, which we called app, and then my username and password is just root and root. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And the third step is we will need to run our migration scripts. So if I go back into terminal into the root of my application, I can run PHP artisan migrate and then just like that we created our user tables and our password reset tables and I'm going to run PHP artisan serve again so we can serve it up on localhost 8000 and I'm going to go back to my web app and we still have the web app in front of us here but now the cool thing is if we go to our domain name slash auth slash login we have a new login screen and we have a new register and so we can actually register a new user right here and just like that with those three easy steps we created an application with a full authentication so I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my name email and my password and I'm gonna go ahead and click on register and that's gonna go ahead and register us and then log us in I can go up here and now go to log out and then I can go back to auth slash login and log back into the application. And just like that, it is so amazing that we have a full authentication application running in, was that probably less than a minute or two. But if I go back here to the database, we can refresh this and we will see that we inside of our users table, we have a new user, which is the user that we just registered. So uh, I would encourage you to start building some awesome Laravel web applications and testing out Laravel if you haven't before, because uh, within this couple minute video, we just created a full authentication application.